What's up guys, today I'm gonna to go through how to do this color change effect. And for this effect to work really well, you want your subject to already have like a bright color. So here is my raw video clip, and I'm using this video footage from the Straight Pipes channel. I'll leave a link to their channel in the description if you want to go check it out for more car videos. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy and paste this video clip. So hold down Alt on my keyboard and just click and drag the video clip up. I'm just going to disable the bottom video clip by selecting it and pressing V and then select the second video clip and I'm going to go over to my effects tab and I'm going to go down to the keying and add the keyer effect onto that video clip and then I'm going to go up to the settings and I'm going to turn the spill level down and invert the mask so we should be left with just like the color of the car or the color of the subject that you're adding this to the rest of the video clip should be all blacked out so for this, I'm going to turn down the strength just a little bit so that we get rid of a bit of that sky. Okay, so now I'm going to re-enable the bottom video clip by selecting it and pressing V. And then I'm gonna go over to my effects tab and search for the hue and saturation effect. And I'm just going to add that effect onto my top video clip and then go down to the settings and just change the hue amount, which will change the color of the car. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a draw mask effect. So I'm going to go over to my effects tab and go down to the masks and add the draw mask effect onto this. And then I'm going to go to the start where I want the effect, the color change effect uh, to start working. I'm just going to draw a loose mask around the car. And then I'm going to go down to the draw mask effect, go down to transform and just hit the keyframes on this because I want to move the mask throughout the video clip. And then I'm going to go to the end point where I want the effect to finish. And I'm just going to move the mask all the way off of the car and leave a nice bit of distance between the mask and the car. And then I'm going to watch that back and make sure that I like the timing of the mask and the color change happening. And it's a bit too quick, so what I can do is right click on the video clip, go to show video animation, and just move this keyframe a bit further along in the timeline. And move this one back. So now we have a slower animation. I also just changed the shape of the mask in between the animation just so that it looks as if the color change is moving around the car and not just like a clean straight wipe across the screen. Okay, so next step, I'm going to add the glow effect and this is where it gets pretty confusing. So I'm going to copy and paste my top video clip and then on the middle video clip, what I'm going to do is just press command C and then shift command V and I basically just want to copy and paste the draw mask that we already have on the video clip so that we have two of the same draw masks. So now we have two of the same mask that we added. The next thing I'm going to do is add a glow effect. You can use a glow effect that comes with Final Cut Pro or what I'm going to do is add this really cool outline effect. Cool, and I'm gonna add the neon preset this effect doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave the link to it in the description. So now that I have my neon effect added, what I need to do is drag the neon effect up in between the draw mask. So now up on my effects, I have the Kia, Hue, draw mask, neon, and then the draw mask. And this is where it gets super confusing. So I'm going to play around with the settings and then I'll let you know what the settings are afterwards. Okay, so on my first draw mask, what I've done is set the feather to 926. And then on the neon effect, I set the threshold to four, the smoothness to 38, the position I put back to zero and zero, uh, the brightness I put at 2.8, and the exposure I also put up to two, and that's pretty much it 
for those settings. And then on the second draw mask effect, I inverted the mask and then I changed the feather to minus 312. And then on the top layer, I also changed the settings on the mask. I changed the feather to 279. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the effects. Pretty advanced. It takes a lot of fiddling around with the masks to get it right. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.